everybody! It's Red Velvet here with another Sailor Moon fan game. This one is much longer than the last. This is actually a full, full-on game, and I will definitely get a full series out of this. I love this game. Let me just start. I absolutely adore it. I played it, oh god, let's see, I started it a good while back. It, it was released in December of 2014, so I mean, it's, it's a fairly new game as far as uh, fan games go. And it's really, really great. It's very beautiful, very in-depth. It's uh, formed a lot around different headcanons, and it's it's really well made. Uh, different he headcanons of the creator, excuse me, the developer. And I love it. it it's a pretty easy to follow storyline, and I am very, very thankful for that, so I can, I remember how to beat it. <laughs> and uh, it's lovely, I love it. It's very beautiful, very well made. It makes sense the way it's put together. I adore this game. I really, really do. When you look at it and go through and see all the little small details in it, you can really, really see how much the developer loves this game as well. And they put that into this game, and I love it. When somebody's passionate about something, you can tell in the work that they do. And this is an excellent example of that. So let's, uh, let's get started. A thousand years ago, our moon was home to a great civilization. This is the story of its rise and fall. Sagittarius Zero Star. Okay, this is the uh, Galaxy Cauldron from the manga, for anybody who hasn't read the manga and has only seen the anime. Um, that's what I like a lot about this game as well. It incorporates a lot of elements from the both series, both incarnations. And it's a beautiful mix of things. For far too long, I have wandered the galaxy alone. At last, I have returned to the cauldron, the birthplace of all the stars and all living things in the galaxy. And this is where stars are turned into cosmic dust and made anew. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay. I mean, you asked me if I wanted to, but I... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Well, what was that? Beautiful artwork for Serenity, by the way. No, Selene, excuse me. What a beautiful light. A crystal has emerged from the cauldron. The birth of a new star. What is this feeling? Is this feeling what I've been searching for all this time? Love? I understand. My time of wandering alone is over. I must take this new star with me. Or not. Stop right there! Who are you? I am Guardian Cosmos, Keeper of the Galaxy Cauldron. This star has cast itself out of the cauldron, but that does not mean you can do with it as you please. If you want that star, you'll have to go through me first. Whoop. Alright. First boss battle. Let's see if the queen can kick some butt. Nope. Nope. I get the feeling that we're not going to do too good. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Oh my, you're very brave to fight me. Is this star really worth throwing your life away? Do you have evil intentions? No. I've just been lonely for such a long time. I thought that I could... Goddess Selene, there are easier ways to have a child. A wink wink. Perhaps this star was meant for you after all. I'll allow you to take it with you, but on one condition. Yes? You must understand that this star's destiny is its own. You can't control its fate. Understood. So she says. Listen to me carefully. In the backwaters of this galaxy, there are still some uninhabited planets. Go there, and allow this little star to grow. Goddess Selene, use your powers to guide any new civilizations you encounter. For I fear that you and this star's powers will be needed. Why? The Sailor Wars. Uh, what do you mean? I thought the Sailor Wars ended when they will begin again. I suspect that this star will mature into a Sailor Crystal unlike any other. 
Oh, hello, running water. I live in apartment building. You can hear everything. Still less noisy than the people that used to live above me, though. Because we don't have any upstairs neighbors, just uh, just on the sides. So, yay. A little bit more quiet. Mm -hmm, sorry. I suspect that this star will mature into a sailor crystal unlike any other. The universe has a way of maintaining the balance between good and evil, hope and chaos. What have I gotten myself into? Hurry from this place, Celine, and good luck to you both. Pew! It's my, it's my sound effect. It's very good. Guardian of the Cauldron, I swear that I will nurture and protect this new life. With you, little one, I can start over again. A lot of cutscene going on here. I'm, I'm a little worried that I won't be able to actually play very much. What an isolated place. Is this really where Guardian Cosmos wanted us to go? This sapphire-colored planet already has life on it. But what about this moon? If we establish ourselves here, we'll be able to watch over this planet's development as Guardian Cosmos asked. You like this place too? It seems that you have the same glow as this moon. Perhaps you were meant to be united. Ooh, you don't even know. Then I have no time to waste. After all, kingdoms aren't built in a day. Or are they? Come on, don't, don't pat yourself on the back there. Not too hard. I think that's supposed to be the queen and, um... I believe that that's the queen and... You know, Sailor Moon would be the little crinkles. I think that's them. Look! Other new stars have followed you out of the galaxy cauldron. They wanted to be near your beauty and warm light. They'll be born soon, too. And here comes the ice cream man. I really hope you can't hear him. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to edit that out. <laughs> kind of just chilling. <laughs> and I'm sure these stars will always stay by your side. You'll never have to be alone. Mercury. Mars. Come on. Jupiter and Venus. Our kingdom is complete. Act one, the queen. Looks like we might be able to actually play soon. Many years later. Little SpongeBob. What am I going to do? The Earthlings have been begging me to intercede in this matter for days. Normally, I only guide them from afar. Saving an individual life isn't my usual method. Luna, Artemis, what shall I do? Your Majesty. As your advisors, we can only suggest that you do what is in your heart. After all, you took us in as refugees. We are but two individuals. After Sailor Mao was killed by Tin Yanko and our planet was destroyed, we had nowhere else to go. Some would call us traitors for leaving. But you've taken us in with open arms. As for the Earthlings, they need you now. It goes against your zero contact policy, but... What if it was your daughter? You both are right, as always. Thank you. I'll travel to Earth as quickly as possible. Contact me if needed. Take care. Be careful, Queen Serenity. All right. I'm bubble. I like the uh, I like the transparent wings on the back. That's very beautiful. And here comes the fun looting part of the game. The game developer was very very kind in that uh you can find a lot of really really great weapons and armor just laying around like not only just the castle but everywhere you go, and I like it. <laughs> I'm very appreciative of it. We have a lot of guards here. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Welcome to the training room. Walk in the gray tiles to activate a random encounter. Let's, let's, let's do that. Large six. Dual attacks. Why not? 
My laptop sounds like a spaceship taking off. Okay, thank you again. While the ice cream man continues to patrol the apartment complex. I want to go out and buy some ice cream so bad. I have no idea. I love ice cream. I love anything. Oh man, I died. Shit, really? Really? <laughs> During a training. Oh my god. Please don't tell me it started me all the way over again. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. Okay, well, uh. I'm gonna go uh, fast forward to the part we were just at, and I will see you guys in a bit. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back, and we are gonna. Artemis! <laughs> and we're gonna stay the hell away from the training room. <laughs> oh, Shaney! Me! Just something to do. Okay, yeah, um, anytime you see a little sparkly, glimmery thing in here, that is a hidden item, and they are usually really great and awesome. So I will always check those out. When I first when I uh, first played this game, I didn't realize that those were treasure boxes too. I just thought they were little decorative things. Sparkly in here. So I kind of overlooked that completely, and then later on I realized, oh, pretty much any box you see, not just the you know big ornate treasure boxes. So yay, treasure everywhere. And it can go from small health restorative items to really, really big advantages. And so, always loot. I am a looter. And I am proud. Figured I'd explore the castle a little bit for you guys. It's a nice party going on. Everybody knows I like to party. Yeah. The moon goddess Selene is a party animal. Princess of Uranus is so dashing and brave. Yes, she is. I will not argue that. Hello. Bored of dancing? Rude. Hasn't been word from the Hovian moon system in quite a while. Uh oh. That's Jupiter. It's the Jupiter moon system. Do you ever have the feeling that you aren't in control of your own life? Like someone else is at the controls? <laughs> Hello, fourth wall. <laughs> left Mercury because it is far too cold these days. Okay, so as we can as we can see, there's a lot of uh, unrest in a lot of different planets. I like that there's nothing on Saturn. I don't know if that could be, you know, uh, um, it probably is, you know, that the person who made this put a lot of thought into every single thing. So nothing is... Nothing in here is an accident. Everything is completely intentional and completely adds to the story. So, the whole, uh... Hello, you don't want to say anything? No, you are extremely untalkative. Okay. Everything that they say is important and you should pay attention to it. So, uh, the reference about, like, Saturn not having anything is probably because, you know... <laughs> you just say you're only... <laughs> You're not wrong. It's a reference to there wasn't, you know, as far as I understand, there wasn't a Princess Saturn in this time. You know, Sailor Saturn was the the guardian or the soldier of destruction. So, uh, wait here, let me to the promenade and transport point. Okay? Okay, I will. I will. But first... Hello, computer. You are very loud sounding today. Yay, more treasure. Excuse me. Okay. Now I will go down to the promenade as you so politely asked me to. A sparkly. Oh, oh, there's two. Ah. Sparkly's everywhere. Coins, yes. See, when you're goddess of the moon, you're so rich, you just leave your money laying everywhere. You don't have to worry about thieves. It's all yours. 
Just everything. And you don't have to worry about forgetting anything, because it's all just... Pff, you own it. You own it all. It's all yours. Just take it. Leave little sparkles everywhere. Ain't no worries. Alright. And this beautiful blue orb down here is our transport. So, I'm actually gonna stop right here for now. Um, because I know it's already a pretty lengthy... It's pretty lengthy by now, so I'm gonna stop. Um, I really do love this game a lot. It's beautiful. It, it has so much, you know, fan theory going on and a lot of headcanons that are really... They really make a lot of sense because, you know, this isn't something that we have a whole lot of canon material on. So, I really love seeing what people think could have happened back then. And there's no way of saying that they were wrong, you know? So it's, it's very interesting, and uh, I love it. And I can't wait to show you guys more. I hope you enjoy it as well. Um, so please leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, do you like this as well? What do you think is going to happen? What are some of your headcanons about the Silver Millennium? I would really, really like to know. I'd love to discuss these guys, this stuff with you guys. Um, and don't forget to... Blech. I am just all mush mouth today. Blech. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more. Uh, keep up to date with everything. I'm also doing the Pokemon Sweet version playthrough. I've got a couple of pro. Blech. God, I just I I need to stop talking after this. I just need to go to bed and just not talk to anybody. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, I have the Pokemon Sweet version playthrough part of it up. I am still, of course, in process of recording that. I have a couple extra episodes recorded already, and I have work off tomorrow, so I'm gonna do some more recording of this and the other one, and I'm gonna do some editing, so I'll have those up ready to post, you know, that way you'll have something to watch while I'm at work or whatever. So please, subscribe to stay updated, you know, stay up to date with everything, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, send some suge suggestions my way. I cannot speak today. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go now. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.